be chronoing three rifles this morning with the Garmin, I think it's the X0 Pro. Gonna chrono three rifles, 300 PRC, my seven millimeter mag, and my 22 250. 300 PRC shooting a 215 burger, the sub mag shooting a 180 burger, and the 22 250 shooting a 55 grain Hornady. Old fashioned. There's an app that goes with this, but uh, I'm not gonna. I've got it uploaded or downloaded to my phone. I just haven't got into it. And just like the rest of you, I half read the instructions on this Garmin. Gives you categories. Weight of your projectiles to be accurate. Okay. 15. Oh, it tells you right here 15 to 5 to 15 inches from the muzzle, 5 to 15 inches from the barrel as well. I was going to get prone, but I had a lot of a lot of shit on the ground here. You know, if I go lower, I'll have to use less bag. This is the HKS problem that I'm using. That's better. Let me check my muzzle brake. Sorry guys. Twenty nine, twenty four. Let that four cool down as fast as possible. So I'm not sure shots one if you click OK and go. I'm assuming. OK. OK. No, I don't want to delete it. I should have read the damn direction some more. When you guys buy our bipods, you should watch our YouTube videos. I'm assuming, let's try this button. Nope, nope. And then the okay didn't do it. No other buttons. So we're just gonna shoot. It should be dead center. There's a little hood deflection here. Oh yeah, she calculated on her own, shot two. 2,946 feet point five per second. So it did speed up after a fouled bore. Definitely shoot and laugh. Put this gun in there. Grab the, the rifle. D 
14.1 extreme spread is 36.7 how do I save that and go to click that okay pause session in session new session rifle 1700 to 5000 feet per second yes I got the bullet weight uh, let's calculate that to, uh, okay 180 All right, should be should be ready. I've got the HK prone on this rifle. This is just a Remington Model 700 stainless with a bedded cheap stock trigger adjustment. This is old school. Okay, this gun's gonna shoot a lot lower speeds. not nearly as comfortable to shoot but it's killed a lot of a lot of critters and trigger pull is big time difference Session summary, uh, 85 standard deviation was 27. Okay, let's put this gun up. Okay. P242 OG and my 22250. So let's get out of this. In session, okay. New session, rifle, yes. Bullet weight, oh, this is going to be interesting. A lot lighter bullet. All right, here we go, boys and girls. Oh, I got to put this brass up. I took the suppressor off her off of here the other day, so my zero might be a little bit off. Definitely with the 42. Have some rebound in the leg, but low caliber or smaller caliber. This is definitely not a clean bore, guys. I don't clean this gun that much. Top right. Oh, I don't need my ears, thank God. Did not record it. Maybe I need to be closer. Let's try this. That's five to 15 inches. Let's see if she will chrono.
compressor. We're gonna come in really tight. Nope. All right, I'm gonna do some looking real quick. It is not, do the wrong button. Oh, maybe that's why. Let's let's try that. The last one's some dumbass didn't hit. Okay. I just want to see if this will chrono it. Okay, let's. Here we go. Wind died down. Yep. I had it on the wrong setting. 3,620 feet per second. Three thousand six hundred ninety-eight feet per second. We go to this OK button. Go to session summary. And uh, only got three readings for this one. Standard deviation was thirty-two point three. Extreme spread was seventy-eight. Point four. So it was reading a 3,620 feet per second up to that. And actually, no, 3,698 feet per second with a 55 grain 22 caliber projectile. So that's pretty damn cool.